In a previous video, I talked about the reasons why your copter might flip out when you try to throttle up and take off. And two of those reasons were that you've got your motors wired up to the wrong motor header, in other words, in the wrong order, or that you've got your motor spinning the wrong direction. Well, it turns out that one of those was my problem during this exact issue. I'm going to show you how I diagnosed it, and then I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to fix if you've got your motors wired the wrong way without ever picking up a soldering iron. Let's take a look. So I'm going to go to the motors tab of the GUI, whether it's Betaflight or CleanFlight GUI, and I'm going to spin the motors one at a time, and I'm going to compare them to the diagram in the upper left. Here you can see that I'm spinning no motor number one. It should be the back right motor, but the front right motor is spinning. I'm spinning motor number two. It should be the front right motor, but the back right motor is spinning. Motor number three is correct, and I'm going to spin motor number four in a minute. It will also be correct. All four motors are spinning the right direction, but I've got motors one and two reversed with each other. All right, so here's an easy fix for that. I'm going to go to the CLI, and the first thing I'm going to do is type mixer, and it's going to show me what the current mixer that I have loaded is, which is the Quad X mixer. Then I'm going to switch to a custom mixer, and I'm going to load the Quad X mixer into the custom mixer, and it'll show me the custom mix lines that would match the standard mixer that I'm using. So just to be clear, the Quad X mixer is the standard mixer for a square quadcopter. And by typing mmix load quad X, I have loaded that in as a sort of a template for a custom mix. Nothing has changed yet about my mix. I'm just starting from a clean template, and then I'm going to make changes to it, and only the changes that I need. And that'll help me avoid making mistakes that I might make if I started from scratch. The next thing I'm going to do is a config dump, and this is useful because everything in the config dump can be pasted right back into the command line to, to enable the option. So if I want the exact syntax for configuring a custom mix, I just load that mix, do a config dump, and I can copy those mmix lines right out of the config dump and paste them into my favorite text editor, which you'll see me do now. Now what I want to do is switch motors 1 and 2, which confusingly are numbered 0 and 1. Don't let that throw you off. And the way to do that simply is, you see where it says mmix 0, 1, 2, and 3? That's the motor number. Just swap the motor number on the two lines that you want to swap. So I want to switch motors 1 and 2 with each other. So I'm going to take the first two lines, and I'm going to switch the motor numbers. 0 becomes 1, and 1 becomes 0. Then I'm going to copy that text, and I'm going to paste it back into the command line, as you see me doing here. I'm going to double check that everything's correct by typing the mmix command one more time. And I'm going to cross-check what I see there against my edited text. Again, just as a last double-check that everything is correct. Finally, and this is critical, you must type save and hit enter to save all of these changes. If you don't hit save, none of this will have worked. And when you finally get back to your configurator GUI, you'll see that instead of your nice 3D model of a quadcopter, you've got this goofy-looking box. And the reason for that is that you're using a custom mixer, so the GUI doesn't know what your model is laid out like. It could be laid out like anything. So this is the price you pay for not having to open up your copter and rewire your motors instead of using a custom mixer. You have to live with this goofy-looking box as a 3D model, but that's not a bug or an error. That's just the price of using a custom mixer. Uh, for me, at least, I direct-soldered these motors to the board, and I just did not feel like re rewiring them. So I went ahead and used the custom mixer, and the copter flew fine after that. If you go this direction, do remember that you've done it. If you give the copter to a friend, and they flash a new version of Clean Flight or Beta Flight on it, and they don't copy over the custom mixer, you know what's going to happen to them. They will not have happy flying. See you next time.